Coming out of the pouch. <laughs> yeah. Mama. Thank you, Haley. Haley DeBurston on the show. Thank you kindly. My pleasure. Thank you. Speaking of pouch, where's Thomas? <laughs> we were just talking about the basis, your your guy, Tom, in, in New York. And I'm like, I was hoping maybe he'd be there to chat a little bit. But like oh. in New York, you tell me what it's like to get a car and park and Tell everybody yeah, about he's, that. there's a thing called alternate side parking in New York City, and it means on certain days you have to, between, you know, the hours of like 11 and 1, you have to move your car over to the other side and double park so the street cleaner can come through. So basically he's just sitting in the car waiting for the street cleaner to come through and and oh get back God. to the other side of the street before everyone else takes up the spot. Oh, my but, gosh. I, I yeah. Guess the, it's, there's only one way to clean a street, and if you don't get people to move, how are you going to do it? You know exactly. what I mean? There's so many people in New York, you got to tell people you got to get out, and they just come up with a way to make you move or pay a fine, I guess, huh? Exactly. I mean, not many people... Uh, not many people own cars in New York City. Tom has always had a car in New York City somehow. He came from uh, Minnesota, and he figured, oh, I'm going to have a car. He's, all, all the years he's been in New York, he's been a New Yorker, he's had a car, which is amazing. But this is what you got to do. you got to be very tricky with the parking, and, you know, it's it's a challenge. It's a real challenge. Yeah, yeah, especially if you don't have a garage space, because garage spaces are few and far between. And gosh, you might as well rent another apartment. They're so expensive. So yeah, it's fun. It's a whole new existence. I've had uh, a couple times. I've been in Manhattan. Actually, a time every time it's been for music. I saw an exclusive Pete Townsend show at the Supper Club. There was only like oh six hundred. There was only like six hundred people there. Uh, was in ninety six. Uh. Uh, Billy Joel was there. Um, I know the Ramones joined Ramone. I was standing right next to him, and it was like, yeah, the Supper Club back. It's closed, but back then it was like a little, like yeah. a little cabaret. And there he yeah, was. Yeah, I, I. Yeah. Did you, you played there? That's or you amazing. Been? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, like he was in the middle of an area, and all we were were like, like tables and waitress, and there was Pete Towns and like your little piano man for the night. Uh, mm. and I, was, I was there two nights, and I yeah, I'm uh, yeah, hung out until four in the morning. Where I go, I meet people who fans, and we hung out. And I remember walking down Manhattan at like four a.m. and there was nobody but me. <laughs> with my yeah. um, with my umbrella and I go back this one club is still lighting up and you know like you know whatever girl I'm like oh I'm not going and bye bye <laughs> I stayed at the hostel by the UN uh, yeah is where I was so uh, and then my other time in New York is when I saw well the Who again Madison Square Garden the Who John Entwistle he was like 10 minutes before he passed away his last show oh. yeah on the tour in 2000 so uh you know, with that being said, New York was such a time where, you know, talking about that, I thing I remember is like the cars would come to the lights, the taxis, and they would all go and clear out and go again, line up and clear out. It was like, yeah, just stand there and watch the whole thing. You yeah. Know? It's, yeah. It's funny. It's, it's a badge of yeah. honor and, uh, you know, and it's really cool stuff. Okay. Muscle memory. Another fun jam that we got. Any good words for we play muscle memory for everybody? Well, uh, Tom thought of the idea for this because he uh, he studies um, martial arts, and he, he did one of the phrases that his teacher says: "It's all muscle memory once <laughs> you get it 
once you learn it, it's your muscles, you know, kind of remember the movement. And he wrote a song just based on that phrase, but I, I wrote some different lyrics. You know, it's not about, it's not about uh, martial arts, but eh, it's about things. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's that's a rock and I, tune. That's what I thought. It, it's you, a rock and tune. It's all about rocking. You guys are the best. Yeah, I know. You guys are the best partners. You and Thomas, it's meant to be. Okay, he'll give us some good. thank you. It really is. The music and everything that come out and meet you guys. So here we go. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you. Ah, thank you. I'm talking to Haley, and I'm coming back on here at the same time. <laughs> Haley is a comedian, too. And I was just chatting her, and she was just telling me about it. She's on the Comedy Channel online, and her commercial she did, Coming Through the Window. Tell us a little bit about all that good stuff you were filming. Yeah. The Comedy that Channel. Was fun. Yeah, how did that come to be? That's real current right now for you. I just saw that a couple months ago, not too long ago. Well, I, you know, I sent in a, uh, I auditioned for it, and I sent in a, uh, you know, you have to send in your picture and a resume and all that stuff, and and they, they went to an audition and they picked me. So yeah, that's that's how that happens. Well, you just have that fun written all over you. And you know, oh, and again, you. in a couple of years, I don't think it was last year, you had the commercial in New York where you you came through a window. What, what was that? Yeah. Again? What was that theme or that? That commercial? was for uh, that was for Investigation Discovery, and uh, I was I was played this sort of crazed <laughs> uh, mail carrier who comes to like, what. I say, what? What's going on? And I come in through the window and I throw my mail up in the air and yeah. And we did a lot of takes of that and they had me. They had me standing on a what's called an apple box, just a wooden box, so I could be sort of hanging in the window from the outside. We filmed at a real house, and uh, so <laughs> if I was kind of hanging in, uh, hanging between the house and the outside for a while. <laughs> I mean, they did it really good good, because you're coming through that window. (laughs) Thank you. You know, and and it's funny how they make those things work. You know, I was mentioning to you that I'm in the Mystery Thousand Bernie Mac and, you know, hired as a cast for that and got to watch the whole filming. Yeah, when he goes into first base, it's sliding in the movie, but he's on a mattress and they're pulling him on a string. (laughs) <laughs> oh wow yeah that's how it's Phil. he's on a mattress that's and they're yanking crazy. him down the first baseline but when you see it in the movie whatever the magic that's how Bernie's sliding it <laughs> wow yeah so how those things actually come to be is, is pretty cool and, and the other thing I know is you know when signs and lean or when lines are going in spoken parts there's no talking you're pantomime you know the, the actors are talking oh, yeah. all us extras are we're not saying one word you breathe too loud cut uh right that's it, right that's how it is uh you know yeah and, yeah uh, i've done some extra work and it's uh definitely that's a challenge you know to stay be patient and wait around a lot but it's cool oh yeah it was 15 days i was there we'd we'd film it was at miller park. yeah miller park was a baseball movie and we didn't have to show up at well, seven uh, four in the afternoon and film all night till seven in the morning. You know, night to early morning, sleep and then come, call and find out when your cast is, and then come back and do it again. Wow! But, but it was so adrenaline and cool. And yeah, I'm in a scene where he goes in the stands and gets the ball from a kid, Bernie Mac, and walks away. And boom! Uh-huh. I do what's like you do through the window. Boom! I did my head. <laughs> oh wow! And it's right. Yeah, it, it's on that. It's on the screen. So. Um, yeah, that, that kind of stuff. And to be part of that and see all that go is, is a really cool, fun and, you know, world and, and it's like your music and stuff. So I'll tell you what, walking on diamonds, let's rock that one. That was one of the tunes okay. that you cranked at the art bar. It was, uh, just a fabulous jam. And you said, Thomas, uh, one of the first tunes that you guys put together. Yeah. That's one of the first songs we wrote together. Well, let's do it right now. Walking on diamonds. Okay. The Haley Diversity cool. Thanks. You tried it that cradle in for slide. You're walking on downs, girl. You know you got it made. 